Look around you. There are many ways our environment can withstand natural and man-made causes. Because if they could not, chances are we wouldn't be here to tell you about resilience in the environment. For a system to be resilient, it must have the ability to bounce back or spring back into shape after being compressed or stretched. Agriculture, deforestation, climate change, overfishing, and dumping waste into the sea are all ways the environment is being tampered with, which we know as the compress or stretch factor. It would take a very long time to get through all the ways that the environment shows resilience, so today you will get to know how one very important part of the environment shows resilience to keep our ecosystems in order. Today, we look at the coral reef. Water covers about 75% of Earth, meaning coral reefs have a big impact on the ocean's ecosystem. An example of resilience in coral reefs is the ability of a coral reef to recover from a bleaching event. Bleaching is when coral hosts lose their nutritional values that help with the process of photosynthesis. Many corals rely on algae, called zooxanthellae, for nutrient upkeeping. Zooxanthellae provide coral with 80% of their nutrients. The loss of zooxanthellae decreases the amount of light absorbed by the coral tissue, causing the bleaching effect. Now that you know what the compressing and stretching factor is, we will talk about how the coral reef bounces back. There are two ways coral reefs recover from bleaching. The first is the presence of another algae called endotholic algae. In a study, scientists found that a Mediterranean species of coral revealed it carried endothallic algae. During bleaching, the energy input to the coral tissue of endothallus expands as the energy input of zooxanthale decreases. This additional energy could explain the survival and rapid recovery of this certain type of coral after bleaching events. The second factor is an experiment scientists are working on called seeding corals in an attempt to stop coral bleaching. The coral hosts are seeded with thermally resistant zooxanthellae, which acts as a reef resilience management technique in order to improve the immune system of coral reefs and promote reef recovery after bleaching. Both methods showing positive results within the ocean's ecosystem. Think of it this way. Coral reefs provide shelter, camouflage, and a food source to aquatic life. When coral reefs are bleached, they no longer provide those things to our ocean's aquatic life. When coral communities are no longer useful, fish habitats have to find a new way to survive and adapt. Coral reefs are a main nursery for fish spawning as well. So without coral reefs, ocean biodiversity would be rare. Sometimes it's what we don't see that makes the biggest impact on our lives and the lives around us. And it's our job to make sure the ocean's coral reef systems stay balanced.